Yeah, no. This doesn't work for a Christmas video. One second. That's more like it. Hey kids, uh, welcome to the uh, Photo Hutch World Headquarters, or as I like to call it, my second bedroom, or my office, my studio. We're here today because it's the Christmas season and it's that time of year again. The Photo Hutch 2022 calendar is officially out on sale. What I thought we'd do today is go through all 12 shots for the calendar, let you guys see it. So if you wanna grab it, you know what shots are gonna be in it. I hate grabbing a calendar from somebody and you don't know what shots are, are in it or not. So that's what today's video is gonna be about. We're gonna go through this bad boy right here and uh, show you what we got. But let's get down to some business before we get started. $34, that's all in with GST and shipping. If you wanna use PayPal, uh, click the link below. That'll shoot you to my website. You can use PayPal there. Or if you wanna use direct transfer, like e-transfer, all you gotta do is find me on Facebook, uh, Photo Hutch on Facebook. So it's P-H-O-T-O-H-U-C-H. -O -O Boy, I almost forgot how to spell. I'm a horrible speller. Just shoot me a message there and we'll chat about e-transfer. I need your address and boom, I'll ship this bad boy out to you. Uh, it's traditional calendar sized, heavy cardstock. I really like this year's calendar a lot. So without further ado, let's fire up the old bad boy here and uh, take a look at the picture, shall we? First up, we have Lake Louise for January. This was a cold, chilly night last January, uh, so January 2021. Um, it was about 20 below for that shot. I love the crack in the ice. You can go skating on Lake Louise in the winter, which is an awesome thing to do. Bring your family, go skating. I like this shot a lot because it's a different view of, of Lake Louise. Instead of shooting from the shoreline out, I uh, went out onto the ice and shot back at the chalet. I love that crack, that leading line that takes you up to the chalet. Uh, it was damn cold that day. I laid on my belly and set up the tripod low. And after I froze parts of my body that a man shouldn't freeze, I got in my car, got a coffee and got out of there. One of my favorite locations to shoot in Blue Hour is Emerald Lake out in British Columbia. It's just past Field. I made a video about this shot. So all you gotta do is click the link above and uh, you can watch how I got this shot. I love it. Uh, I also got the crap scared out of me by a duck. It's in the video. Third month, January, February, March, right? Third month, March. The hat's cutting off some blood supply to my brain. Third month is March. Banff. This is Mount Norquay Lookout. I didn't shoot a video for this shot, but I've done a video uh, in the Banff series on the YouTube channel where you can check out this location, but uh, there's not one for, for this shot. This was done kind of a spur of the moment decision. I was in Canmore visiting some friends and before I went home, I whipped into Banff and went up to the, the Mount Norquay Lookout. This is on the road that takes you up to the uh, Norquay Ski Hill and I really like this shot a lot. If you notice in the bottom left-hand corner of the shot, there's a herd of mountain sheep there. Just a nice little added dynamic. Love it. April is Kananaskis. I made a video about this place and I titled it, I Failed as a Photographer. And when I went out and shot, the sky didn't really do much for me. And I wasn't happy with anything I shot that night until I got home and put this one on the computer. I love the little bit of alpine glow that's happening up top there and the light that's cutting across from left to right there, adding a little bit of uh, extra little spice into the image as well. May is Morant's Curve. Uh, this spot is a, a photographer's dreams uh, out near Lake Louise. It's, it's kind of near the ski hill, but you turn off and, and, and take the Bow Valley Parkway. Uh, not too far, about five, 10 minutes down the road, you'll find Morant's Curve. And it's, it's kind of a, a gamble when you get out to Morant's Curve on how long you're gonna wait uh, for a train. There's no set schedule that you can kind of look at and say, okay, 2.22, there's gonna be a train. You just gotta be patient. Just uh, just get your camera set up and, uh, and wait it out. I was fortunate enough to get there at sunset before the sun went down uh, behind one of the mountains that uh, the train came by and I, I got this shot. I really, really love this shot. Moran's Curve I've done in the winter and uh, now I've got it in the summer um, at sunset. It's just, it's a, it's a wonderful spot that never disappoints, but you've gotta be patient and wait for that train.
June is Bow Lake. I did do a video on this one. Click the link above. It was a windy day and my tripod actually blew over. My filming tripod blew over on the shoreline and I couldn't really find a good composition there. So I started to walk around and found this great little creek leading to a bridge leading to the mountain. And I really do like this shot a lot. Bow Lake. Check out the video. July in the prairies is all about the canola fields. Canola is a wonderful yellow plant that flowers just gorgeous, vibrant colors. And this shot out at Troshu, Alberta uh, was a complete fluke. I was coming back from visiting some family in central Alberta. There was a hailstorm. I drove through the storm and just saw this barn on the side of the road. It's literally right beside the highway, uh, right as you come out of the, uh, the little town of Troshu, Alberta. I like this shot because of the dark hail clouds in the upper two thirds of the frame, but the sun is actually punched through and lit up the canola in the bottom third of the frame, creating this bright, vibrant color in this dark, foreboding sky above it. I love this shot. For August, we head out to central Alberta to the little community of Bashaw, farming community. We're out in the country just past Bashaw. This is actually not too far from my aunt and uncle's farm. I remember this barn from when I was a kid and totally forgot about it until that day when I was just out location scouting for canola fields. Um, I did do a video about this one. Click the link above and you'll see the discovery of it and how I got this shot. That barn is just tasty. September, we head out to Abraham Lake out near Jasper. It's kind of Jasper, Rocky Mountain House area of Alberta behind Rocky. Abraham Lake is really famous for its frozen methane bubbles in the winter. And we will go out there this winter and I'll do a video for that one as well. So keep your eye out for that because Abraham in the winter, methane bubbles, millions of methane bubbles. It is a fantastic location. But in the fall, along the shoreline where the trees are, uh, the water level rises and it, and it does this shallow flooding um, of, the, of the shoreline. I love the emerald color water in this shot and then the bright vibrant yellow and the white bark on the trees. It's just a nice intimate little shot. For October, we head out to Canmore. This is by the off-leash area. Um, and I went out there for sunrise, but the light didn't, uh, didn't, uh, didn't work for me too well. I love this shot because if you look at the photo, there's this wonderful reflection in the water. It's just like a mirror. And I love water reflections that are just like mirror. It's just one of those shots that just screams fall. I love it. And Canmore never disappoints. November, we head to Mossley, Alberta, which is southeast of Calgary. It's a tiny little hamlet. There's three or four grain elevators there. I went out there at night to hopefully get the Northern Lights. The, the thing about shooting the Northern Lights is you're never really certain, even though all the data may say, hey, it's gonna be a big, huge storm, that it's gonna happen. And we had that happen here about a month ago where all data was saying it was gonna be this big, huge storm, biggest of the year, and it was a total washout. So when you go out, when you do get them, you're rewarded and it. You just feel like, like a giddy kid. And this night I did feel like a giddy little kid. The lights were fantastic. Um, I love the little reflection coming off of the train tracks that lead you right into the lights and off to the side is that uh, grain elevator. Canada, Northern Lights, can't go wrong. And finally, December, another one of the videos. There's the link. You can check out how in my backyard I got this shot. What I love about this frozen bubble is that tiny little starburst in the upper left-hand side of the bubble. I love it. To me, it almost comes off like a crystal ball that a wizard would be using or a witch, but I love it. And I shot it in my backyard. Click the link. Well, okay, we got, I'm getting hot. <sighs> That's better. The pook gets kind of hot. $34 all in. Uh, you can click the link below, like I said earlier. That'll shoot you to the website if you want to use PayPal. Or if you want to e-transfer, just find a Photo Hutch on Facebook. Shoot me a message and uh, I'll get your information from you. And uh, it'll get out to the mail as quickly as I can. I'm just so grateful that you guys support me. And every year I sell out and I can't 
thank you guys enough. Uh, it means a lot to me, and I never take it for granted that you all sell me out every year of these bad boys. That's it. In the uh, meantime and in between time, stay healthy, stay safe. I'll catch you next time. Oh, and uh, Merry Christmas. And as always, guys, please rock the subscribe button and ring the bells for notifications. We'll check you next time.